Hello, my quilting friends. My name is Leah Day, and I am working on my Christmas tree quilt. This is a very special quilt I pieced two years ago. I'm super excited to get it on my frame and be quilting it in time for Christmas this year. So in this video, I wanna share with you how I am quilting beautiful feathers using my feather quilting ruler and some half square triangles that make up the tree. So let's get started learning how to use the feather ruler together. So check out these beautiful feathers stitched over the Christmas tree quilt. And this is in the tr Christmas tree section. So I wanna have this nice wide band of feathers. They're two inches on one side, two inches on the other. So a total of four inches here over these half square triangles. And then I'm gonna split them up with some straight lines stitched with my ditcher ruler. So I really think that this is turning out nicely. And I wanna teach you how to get this set up. So I've decided the darker half square triangles, the feathers would go this way. So the lighter half square triangles here, they curl up this way. So kind of have to have a little game plan so that way you know which side of the ruler that you're gonna be using. Cause you can see here on this side, I swing out and around to create that shape. And then I can rotate the ruler around and be able to quilt that shape of the feather too. All right, so to get started, this can be a little tricky, especially when you're working on the diagonal and you don't have anything to go off of to get started. So what I like to do is take a piece of tape. So this is just pink masking tape and I am just lining this up with that seam line and trying to run this nice and straight so that I have a nice straight line here. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna use that straight line to line up with the etched lines here on this ruler. And this is really the key to how this ruler works. So this short area down here, you have a straight line. This represents your vine line or basically the center line that your feathers are branching off from. So this line, nice straight, I'm gonna have this lined up and that's going to, uh, be this seam line running on the quilt. And so each of the feathers is going to kind of grow off this line. And I want it to be nice and straight so that way the feathers are set up nicely and, and evenly. So if I line this up here, you know, I'm just gonna start with a, a half or a quarter feather shape. I could start all the way over here. You know, it's really just entirely where you wanna get started, but I kind of like it like this where that first feather shape is not gonna be a full feather, it's just gonna be part of one. So here we go, I'm gonna line up, this is the ruler where I want it, and I'm just lining up here with where that foot connects with the end of that ruler. So I pull up my thread, grab my bobbin thread, so I have my top and bobbin thread on the surface of the quilt. Why do I do that? So it doesn't make a mess on the back of the quilt. That's what you don't want. It would make a really ugly mess because I've got a contrasting backing. <laughs> so definitely want to pull that thread up. Okay, so here we go. I'm going to only be stitching basically the back end of that feather here. So I hold the ruler firmly. I like to hold it like this with one finger out and then my thumb and fingers gripping nicely, but not pressing, but not pressing too hard down onto the quilt because that can create too much resistance and then I won't be able to actually move the machine. Okay, so now I'm gonna stitch down basically to that seam line. I got a lot of seam allowances there, that's why the machine paused. And now stitch back out. And where am I going to stop? I'm gonna stop where this etched line lines up with the needle. So this etch line tells you where it's time to hop. So when I stitch to this point on the outside of that feather, now I hop and move the ruler up. Now, what am I lining up? I've got my foot nested in the pocket of the ruler and I've got that straight etch line still lined up now on my tape, but also mostly on that seam line. There we go. Now I'm just gonna click the machine on again. And I am in stitch regulated cruise. I like cruise because I, I do tend to press just a little bit too hard and cruise will keep my machine moving a little bit more smoothly because the needle is continually bouncing up and down. And then I have my machine regulator set to 16 stitches per inch. I like that too. There we go. Now I'll pop up again. 
Let me talk you through it, just so you know exactly what I'm doing. I'm stitching and moving the machine down, bring it all the way down to that seam line. Sometimes I have to nudge the ruler downward. And then now I'm carefully travel stitching back up. I love the look of travel back feathers. So I specifically designed this ruler to create nice travel back feathers on your quilts. And then once I get to that point, that line on the ruler, that's when I hop it forward and form that next feather shape. And you can see here I'm getting a little bit off. You can see my line is not lining up with the seam line perfectly. So whenever that happens, you wanna just shift the ruler ever so slightly, click on the machine, shift the ruler ever so slightly, get yourself in the right position, and then swing out and around. Watch out for resistance. Like sometimes I'll feel strange resistance on my machine. Like what's going on? Why can't I move it smoothly? And there might've been something I forgot and left on the frame. There might've been something on the tracks. Uh, I might be running into something weird that I set in my room and forgot about. Uh, but this is looking really, really good. And I love this effect. So I hope that you enjoyed learning how to use this ruler. The other side works the exact same way. Here you can see some feathers over here that I stitched, just forming those out and around through that area. So that's it for this video. If you'd like to learn more about this feather quilting ruler, come and check it out at leahday.com feather. Until next time, let's go quilt.